Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Roshan and in my last video, we have seen how to convert decimal number to octal values. In this tutorial, we will be seeing its reverse. This means it will have an octal number and convert it back to its decimal number. There are many ways we can do this program. You can write your logic or use a inbuilt function or use recursion or many other ways. Like the earlier tutorial, I will keep the most straightforward logic so you can easily understand line by line. And later at the end, I will show you using a built-in function. This tutorial will have two sections. First, we'll understand the logic in detail with mathematical representation and implement the code in the second section. You can directly watch the code section if you want to skip the detailed logic explanation. I always recommend understanding the logic to improve your problem solving skill and use any built-in function later. You can also write the same code in many different ways. You can comment on your version of the code in the comment section. So we have understood what a octal number is and how it is calculated in my last video. If you have yet to see it and want to understand, I recommend watching by clicking the link in the top right corner or link from the description below. Let us understand the process first, then we can implement it using code. Let us take the earlier example from the last video. We have the number 355 and that was converted to octal 543. We'll use the same octal value to convert it back to its decimal number. Let me write the octal decimal value with some spaces between to get more understanding. So let me write it. Five. 4, 3. You can see we have two sides, left side and right side. So the first step is to write the position of each value. So I can write position. Let me write the position of each value from right to left. It means low to high. So it will start from 0, 1, 2. You can also read from high to low where you need to find the highest position that is length of value minus 1. Now as the second step, let us write the base. So let me write. As the octal value is of base 8, we can write 8 below each position. So I can write 8. Next we'll combine the above two step. So I can write next step. And we need to combine the above two steps. So we need to write base raised to its position. So it will be 8 raised to 2, 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 0. Now we need to multiply each with its corresponding value. So as a next step, I can write, this is my corresponding value. So it will be 5 into 8 raised to 2. For 4, it will be 4 into 8 raised to 1. For 3, it will be 8 raised to 0. And the final step is to add each one of them and that's your decimal value. So I can write plus here. So let me calculate it. It will be 5 into 64 plus 4 into 8 plus 3 into anything raised to 0 is 1. So it will be 320 plus 32 plus 3. So it will be 355. This is our decimal value. So for the octal value 543, we have got 355 as a decimal. And that's correct. Now let's move to code to implement the same logic. The very first thing we need is input from the user. And it should only contain 0 to 7. So to get the input, we can use the python input method. So I can write octal value equals to input method and we'll specify some message. Enter any octal value only allowed is 0 to 7. Now we have got the input. But we need to convert this into integer type. So I can write int method here. So our first step is completed. 
I have not added any input validation here, but you can add them if you want. Next, let us write one function which will take one parameter and return us with the decimal output. You can write logic without a function as well, but it is a good practice to create a function that does one task and return us with the output. So whenever we need output, we can simply call that function again and get the result. To create a function, I can write def and the function name. So I can write octal to decimal and it will have one parameter. So it will be octal value. Now we have our function, but the most important thing is to implement the logic which we have seen before. Let me write that as well. We saw that we need to read each octal value one by one. There are few ways we can read each value, either reading from left to right, which means high to low or reading from right to left, that means low to high. I will be doing the second approach, so you can easily relate to the explanation which we have seen before. But you can modify the logic for the first approach and comment the code in the comment section. So the first thing we need to find is each value from right to left. For that we can use modulus operation. So I can write octal value mod 10. This will give us the rightmost value. Now it is calculated, but we need to save that value in some variable. So let's save that value in some variable. So I can write decimal equals to our mod operation. Next step is to calculate the power of 8 and raise to its position. For that we need a variable position that starts from 0 and will be incremented by 1 each time. So I can write position equals to 0. To calculate it we can use the built in power method. So I can write power it will be 8 and position. This is something 8 raised to power 0. Now let us go back to our example to check the next step. So we did find the power, but next we need to do is to multiply that with its octal value and add each one of them. So I can modify the same line and I can write decimal into our power operation. As a final step, we need to add each one of them. So I can write decimal number plus our existing code. To support this, we need one variable to store the sum. So I can write decimal number and we'll set it to zero. And we'll update the same variable. So I can write decimal number equals to decimal number plus our power operation. Now we have done this for the rightmost value. Next we need to find the second rightmost for the next iteration. For that we will use the float division. So I can write octal value equals to octal value 2 forward slash and 10. This will prepare the input for second rightmost value. This entire process needs to be done for each value. For that we need a loop. Here I will be using a while loop. So I can write while octal value not equals to 0 and we will move this code in the loop. We need to run these steps until the num reaches 0. So our while condition is set. One more step we need to do is increment the position variable by 1 for each iteration. So I can write position equals to position plus 1. At the end of the loop, we'll have a decimal output. As a last step, we need to return the output from the function. So I can write return decimal number. Now our function is ready. You can further optimize or shorten the code by changing some logic here and there. Lastly, we need to call this function with a parameter. So I can write octal to decimal and we'll pass octal value. This function will return us with the output. So I can write output equals to 
and let me print the output so I can write decimal value and it will be output here let me save this and run with an example it is asking for a user input so I can use existing example so I can type 543 and it should give us the output 355 hit enter so the output is correct let's try with another example let's say we have number 62 so output is correct now we understood how to convert octal to decimal we also talked about some built-in methods in python we have a few here we'll use the int method which converts the octal number to its decimal integer value before that let me comment the existing code so let me comment this line also let me copy the input code so let me copy this line paste it here in this approach we don't need integer input as we will be doing that in a next line so let me remove this int here and just simply write int method and pass the octal value we also need to pass one option that is 8 which states that it is a octal number so i can type 8 here you can combine both lines but for the explanation purpose i have kept on two different lines so it will give us the output so i can write output equals to i need to print the output so let me copy this line paste it let's save it run with an example we'll use the same example 543 so output is correct that's it from this video if you like this content hit that like and subscribe button and press that bell icon so you will get notified whenever new video gets uploaded and lastly if you have any queries or suggestion feel free to comment and i will try to answer those thanks for watching see you next time